Hello children and welcome to Storytime with Dixie. Tales from Africa The Upside Down Lion One fine day the warthogs were walking among some trees. Remember, said Mr. Warthog, this is a dangerous place. Always stick to the paths and never go off exploring things that don't concern you. Scarcely were the words out of his mouth than a terrible noise filled the forest. Baby Warthog, I've warned you before, said Mrs. Warthog. Say pardon when you burp. That wasn't me, said Baby Warthog. It was that lion up there. Sure enough, a lion was hanging upside down from the tree above them. He had been caught in a trap. Please, said Lion, let me down. I've been up here for three days and I think I've gone peculiar. How silly do you think we are? said Mr. Warthog. If we let you down, you'll eat us. I promise I won't, pleaded Lion. I'm so weak from lack of food. I'm as harmless as a kitten. So the warthogs undid the trap and set Lion free. Oh, thank you so much, said Lion. Dear Mr. Warthog, sweet Mrs. Warthog, and lovely, delicious, good enough to eat, baby Warthog, I am so grateful. I could just gobble you up. Mrs. Warthog didn't like the sound of that. She didn't like the way Lion was looking at Baby Warthog and licking his lips either. So, very quickly, she said, How on earth did you get caught up in this trap? I was just wandering along, minding my own business, said Lion, when I put my paw here, and Lion put his paw back into the trap to show them. Then the rope went tight, and the next thing I knew, I was hanging upside down from that tree. Like this? said Mrs. Warthog, and she pulled so hard that the rope went tight and Lion was once again hanging upside down from the tree. What did you do that for? said Lion. My family and I set you free, said Mrs. Warthog, and you are going to thank us by eating baby Warthog here? What an ungrateful scoundrel you are. The Warthogs turned their backs and walked away with their noses in the air. Lion hung upside down like that for another three days until Grass Mouse came by. Excuse me, said Lion, who was now so weak from lack of food that his voice was just a whisper. Oh, would you please be kind enough to help me down? I promise I won't hurt you. Grass Mouse's mother had told him to steer clear of lions, but she had also said that he should always help fellow creatures in trouble. All right then, said Grass Mouse. He scampered up the tree and with his sharp front teeth he gnawed through the rope that was holding Lion. Thank you so much, said Lion, when he was back on solid ground. Lion wasn't going to make the same mistake twice, so instead of thinking about eating Grass Mouse, he promised to help him whenever he was in trouble. The moral of the tale? Always be grateful when people help you. Thank you for listening, and if you like this video, please uh, press like, subscribe, and share. See you later on the other side.